if you're like me, you want to stay warm and cozy, but you don't want to sacrifice looking good in the winter, then this video is definitely for you. In this video today, I want to share with you how I layer my clothing in the winter. And in case you're not in Canada yet, you might not know that here because of the frequent changes in weather, it can be 3 degrees Celsius one day and then minus 15 degrees the next day, most people would have several jackets in their closet. I, for example, have three main jackets that I rotate based on what the weather is like. I have this very lightweight jacket with a hoodie that's not very warm. Then I also have this lightweight down jacket. And this one I would say is by far the warmest. It's what you would call a puffer or a bomber jacket that has down but also has a very thick inner lining. So I want to show you different combinations of layering your clothing depending on what the temperature outside is as well as what jacket you want to wear. And now let's start with the tops first and after that we'll also talk a bit about layering for the bottom part of your body. So one very important part of layering is to have proper inner wear or what's also called thermal wear. So this is the inner layer that you wear underneath your sweater or your shirt or whatever to help you keep warm. This one is from the brand Uniqlo but there are many many brands that offer very good thermal wear and I have these in different colors and also in different warmth levels. So this one is for example the thinnest. You can see that the material is quite thin but I also have an extra warm one which I'll show you in a minute. So when the temperature out there is between 0 to 5 degrees Celsius, I don't really want to wear a very warm jacket. So usually what I do is I wear one layer of this thermal wear and put on a sweater. And this is just a regular sweater. It's not too warm, but it does have a bit of bulk and keeps me warm. So in case you buy one of these more slimmer jackets, like the one I have on right now, you don't want to have too much bulk inside because that would defeat the purpose of having this slim silhouette, right? And that is why you want to have just the right amount of layers so you stay warm without it becoming too bulky. And I also have this thermal wear in this flesh or neutral color and this is very useful for when you want to wear white or translucent tops things like these for example so if you want to wear a white or a translucent blouse like this you want to wear something that is close to your own skin colors so it doesn't show through and this way, even when it's cold outside, you can still wear something fancy without freezing. This is another piece of clothing where it's really useful to have this inner wear to stay warm. You see this has holes all over it and you might think that it's not suitable to wear in the winter, but actually you can. So with the skin colored thermal wear underneath, it almost looks as though you're not really wearing anything beneath it. And it doesn't look bulky either, right? Because it really clings to your skin. But what if it gets slightly colder? Let's say it's minus five degrees celsius so can you still wear this kind of jacket yes you can but you have to change your thermal wear to the extra warm one so this thermal wear here is extra warm at uniqlo they have three levels of warmth i'm not sure what it's called exactly let's just say it's regular and this is extra warm and there's also an ultra warm but the reason that i didn't buy that is because i didn't really like the texture so much what i like about the regular and the extra warm one is it's really body fit and it doesn't add any bulk. So as you can see guys, this thermal wear here is slightly thicker. You can see that it has sort of an inner lining as well and it's not as transparent. So if I wear this extra warm inner layer and then wear this uh, sweater with these holes, this thin sweater, then I can still wear this thin jacket and this still works quite well. But the moment it gets colder, if it's minus 10 degrees Celsius, then this just won't cut it anymore, at least for me. By the way guys, if you found this video useful so far, then and please do let me know by hitting the like button. I would really appreciate that. Thank you. So at minus 10 degrees Celsius, that is where I change to this lightweight down jacket. This is one of my favorite jackets. It's from Lole. It has down feathers inside it, but it's very thin and very lightweight. So it's not like one of those huge heavy jackets that really puts on a lot of weight on you. So this is very, very comfortable. And in case you want to know more about this particular jacket, I've made a video earlier on this and I'll put the link up here for you to watch. So guys, layering is really all about the perfect combination. And what is ideal will be different so you have to experiment with it for yourself so at minus 10 degrees celsius this kind of lightweight down jacket so not the thickest one with a thin sweater but with the extra warm thermal wear can still work just amazing alternatively what i like to do at minus 10 degrees celsius especially when i'm planning to go to a cafe or to a store or go somewhere indoor where i'm 
might spend a lot of time inside is that I would combine this regular thermal wear, so the thinner one, with a regular a medium sweater. And at minus 10 degrees Celsius, this combination would go together with this light down jacket. And this is why this particular combination is useful. So outside I stay warm and cozy, but the moment I go into a cafe and spend like one or two hours there, I just take off my jacket, I just take off the sweater, and I hang around there indoors just with my thermal wear. And the extra warm version, so the thicker versions of thermal wear, usually don't look that good if you just wear it like that. The thinner ones usually look very good. I mean, it looks just like a long sleeve shirt. In contrast, guys, you might have noticed that this uh, skin or flesh colored thermal wear doesn't look really nice. It looks pretty ugly, to be honest, but it's really, really useful. So when I have a sweater like this, for example, that is light colored and especially if you look at the inside, there's like a kind of fleece. And usually when you wear these kinds of sweaters, you just can't avoid that some of the material just comes off. And if you wear dark colored innerwear, what happens is, is that this thing here will just stick to your innerwear. So if you wear something light colored like this, I would really recommend you to pick light colored thermal wear as well. So this combination here still works very well for minus 10 degrees and even to minus 15 degrees, I would say. But as you can see, the overall outfit, the silhouette is still slim, so you don't end up with a lot of bulk here. And guys, you might have noticed by now that my method of layering is pretty simple and straightforward. You might have watched other videos where they layered different types of shirts and tops and so on, but I like to keep it pretty simple. So I have a set of inner wear, thermal wear, and then I would have either thinner or thicker sweaters. So guys, if you're like me, then you might also like these really huge and bulky sweaters. I know they are super, super cozy in the winter and they're so comfortable. But the thing is that if you combine these with a huge jacket, then usually you'll end up looking just like a huge ball and it can also get overheated and too hot. So if you're wearing this kind of bulky sweater and combine it with inner wear, then I would still recommend you to go with a slimmer, a lightweight jacket. So as you can see here, this very huge bulky sweater, this appears under this slim fit jacket so it really doesn't look bulky at all. But guys, here is something that I would definitely not do. If wearing this kind of huge bulky sweater, I would definitely not combine it with this kind of puffer or what's also called as bomber jacket. So if you take this kind of sweater and combine it with this, then this is what it will look like. So first of all, guys, I have trouble just even closing the jacket. Um, so this is a size M, by the way. It's not even that huge. So this is a puffer jacket. It's really thick and it has this inner lining. And if I wear this bulky sweater underneath, everything just feels so tight and actually it's super warm. I mean, of course, if you're outside at minus 15, minus 20 degrees, it can feel just right. But the moment that you step into a train or into a shop or so, you can get sweaty. It can actually get really, really hot and uncomfortable. So I would advise you not to do this. Okay, but then you might ask, but what if it's like minus 20 degrees, minus 23 degrees, and it's super, super cold? I mean, I want to look good, but I don't want to freeze either. So what should I do? From my experience, at that temperature, minus 20, minus 23 degrees, what you can actually do is to combine two layers of thermal wear. So I have this thin thermal wear layer right now, and I'll top it with this extra warm one. So now you have double the warmth, but it's still not too bulky. And then you can top it off with that puffer jacket. And now you can see it fits just right. That is how I think you should wear puffer or bomber jackets. So instead of choosing a jacket size that is too huge in the hopes that you can fit in layers of sweaters inside it, opt for a jacket size that fits just snug or maybe one size larger. And instead, just double your inner wear inside. Wear two layers here like I do. Alternatively, if you get cold very, very easily, you can still combine this thin inner layer with this kind of sweater that is not too bulky. So this kind of works, but I do think that it stretches it a bit. Everything just feels a bit too tight, too packed, and too warm. So when you wear those kinds of puffer or bomber jackets, instead I would advise you to go with a sweater like this, so something that is more body fit and not too tight, but that is just not too bulky. 
So here you can see that it fits just right. It's not too tight, I still have a bit of room here left, but it's also not too bulky. So even now, for example, because I'm indoor and my apartment is very well heated, I actually feel very warm already. But now you might ask, but what if I'm outside for a long time, I'm waiting for the bus. I mean, then I will need to wear warmer clothing so I don't freeze, right? In case you're wondering about that, I actually made another video just recently where I talk about how you can stay warm in the winter and it's not just about layering and sweaters. And you can check out that video here in the link above. And now we finished talking about tops, guys and let's now talk about how you can keep your lower body warm. So here guys, I'm just wearing standard jeans and this works very well for me for zero degrees Celsius and even minus five degrees Celsius. But what if you want to wear a skirt or maybe a pair of joggers? How does that work? So guys, I love to wear skirts even in the winter and this is one of my favorite skirts. It's a fall leather skirt. So how do I wear this in the winter? So these kinds of tights definitely won't cut it because these are just too thin and you will freeze. I either wear leggings, yes, just regular leggings um, underneath my skirt or I wear these kinds of thick or thermal tights. So here you can see that these tights are really thick. They're not like the regular stockings that you would wear in the fall. These are very very, very warm they're I think as warm or even warmer than my jeans so even if it's cold outside you do not have to sacrifice style if you like to wear skirts then go ahead just make sure that you've got these really really warm tights okay that was zero degrees minus five degrees but what if you get to minus 15 minus 20 degrees that's when it gets really really cold how do you layer then if you're like me and you really really love to wear jeans then this tip will be very useful it's especially tricky to layer skin jeans. If you have these big baggy roomy jeans then you can just wear leggings or those warm tights underneath but with these kinds of skinny jeans that really cling to your legs you need to go for regular tights instead those thin tights that you would usually wear under a skirt in the fall. So if you wear those tights with skinny jeans, then you'll feel very, very warm. But one warning I do have for you is that when you go and buy tights, make sure that they are not too tight. So usually I would wear for pants a size S or M, but for tights, I try to buy them a size larger. So I would try to go with L because these tights somehow tend to be very, very small and you don't want to have everything pressing too tight against your leg. So this combination works very well even for for very extreme temperatures for minus 20 degrees. By the way guys, every afternoon, almost every day, I go for a 40 to 45 minute walk. And for that, I would usually just wear a pair of joggers like these here. And that works very well for zero degrees, minus five degrees. But once it gets to the range of minus 15, minus 20 degrees, then what I do is that I layer these joggers with these thicker tights and it works very well because joggers are usually a bit more roomy so you can afford to fit in those thicker tights and when you go outside it really feels very warm and cozy if you're also curious to know what kind of socks you actually need in the winter here in Toronto because I know if you go to the store there are so many kinds of socks to choose from right I have this other video here for you in which I explain in detail which kind of socks are suitable for which kind of shoes and also temperatures as always guys Thank you so much for watching. I wish you an awesome day and I'll see you again in the next video.